you know, this is you know, this is usually a very easy pick to make every year. Ohio State and Michigan. Um, this year it's not really hard for me to make a pick in this game, you know, but Ohio State has actually worried me this year. You know, um they their pass protection has not been that good. Uh their defense has not been very good either. It's gotten better, but again, it was against weaker teams. When they played Penn State, Penn State had a lot of offense on them, you know, and scored a lot of points. It was in Ohio State too. <coughs> it was a night game, excuse me. Um they got run through by Oregon, you know, and Oregon lost to Stanford. You know, Stanford who? So Stanford or somebody they lost to. California, UCLA, wasn't a good team. Anyways, and Ohio State just really hasn't done anything to wow me this year. So that worries me when it comes to picking Ohio State. The thing is, it's in Michigan, too. And Michigan, you know, the thing about Michigan is Jim Harbaugh has never beaten Ohio State in his career. <coughs> he has been there since 2015. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Last year with COVID, so they didn't play. So he's had five tries already, and he hasn't been able to beat them. But I will say, that if not the best team, this is at least the second best team he's ever had with Michigan. <coughs> but I would have to say, this is the best team he's had with all of his players. In 16, that was probably the best team he coached. But Julia, uh, Joe, excuse me, Jabril Peppers was not his player that he recruited. So all the players he has now, those are his. This is the best Michigan football team he's ever had. You know, and actually they've surprised me a little bit this year. With outside of the Michigan uh, Michigan State. Uh, disaster. Um, they've done everything they're supposed to do. So it's hard to say they're not a good team, and it's hard to say that, that they are not capable. They've gotten better in the red zone than they used to be. You know, you know when, the, when the season first, before the, the season first started, <coughs> I had Washington winning this football game because, no, I don't have COVID, guys. Don't get any ideas. Um, I, I picked Washington simply because I know Michigan has always had problems in the red zone. That's why they've had close wins and they've lost some close games that they should have won. So um, that worries me. So, it, but again, Michigan has played really good this year. Their defense is very good. They got Hutchinson and they got what's his name? I don't, he's number fifty-five. I can't remember his name. And the only reason I remember Hutchinson because he plays like Chase Winovich did. They both played defensive end. They both had long hair, so I get him mixed up all the time. <coughs> but. Even then, Michigan's whole defense is good. So, yeah. But, you know, I don't know. It's just, again, the Penn State game. Ohio State struggled at home at night with Penn State. And Michigan went to Penn State, Happy Valley, and held them to under 20 points with a healthy Trace McSorley and a very good Penn State defense. And they scored touchdowns when they needed to. So, I've got to go with Michigan, but I know there's a boss out there that's watching me. She likes Ohio State. So, um, I'm not picking this because I'm afraid that I'm not going to make, uh, make my boss happy, but I will say this. Harbaugh has never beaten Ohio State. He's lost to them five years in a row. Make it six. I got Ohio State winning a very close football game. It's not going to be one-sided by either team. Should be a great game. I just think Ohio State always finds a way to beat Michigan. They find another way this year. Plain and simple. On the road, 31-26. Ohio State.